Hi everyone, welcome to our little overview of our NASCAR overlays that we have available here on STK Gaming. We're going to take a look at the uh, NASCAR style tower, ticker and also driver details. If you don't already know how to get the overlay displayed either on your iRacing screen or in OBS, then you'll need to go back through our previous tutorials first of all to get to that point where you know the overlay is working. So to display our NASCAR style overlays, you've got two options. We can either fire up a brand new project file, or if you've already got one that you're working on, we can individually load the components in. So first off, to load a project file, just you've probably done already before, hit F3 on your keyboard, load project down on the bottom, and then we can navigate to the NASCAR project file within your downloaded iRacing live timing folder. So if I double click that, that'll open up a project file, Hit F3 to close my settings, F4 to open up the remote control panel, and then this is our default layout for the NASCAR project file. If you've already got your own project file that you're running and you just want to grab the components individually, just go to the STK Gaming homepage, overlay, overlay component list. We'll jump across to race components, and then we can see we've got the three of them here. So driver details, ticker, tower, when I click into NASCAR driver details, we've got our download option there. Downloaded straight away. If I go back to live timing now. F, uh, when we're in the remote control panel here, F2 to open up edit mode. Import down on the bottom right. Again, navigate then to the file that we just downloaded. There it is, that's NASCAR driver details. So I want to replace it. I already got it here because I've got the project file open. Yeah, sure we can place it and then it's just dropped in hit f2 again to come out of edit mode and then that's how you import your these individual components into your existing project file so next up then we want to have a quick look at how we can use and what settings we've got available to us so uh, i'm about to show you a replay file so first thing i need to do in this project file is change my initial settings option down here to replay file if i show you another view of the sim we can see we've got our ticker scrolling across at the top and our driver details then on the bottom right. Got iRacing playing as well. Um, so let's look at some of the options that we've got available to us for the ticker. Uh, bring it back across again to timing screen. So NASCAR ticker. If I hover over any of the buttons, just as normal, it will give us our tool tip explaining what the button does. We've got options for gap, last time, best time, car logo, no data. I can show or hide the component. I can change the length of time it's going to take a driver to scroll across the screen by adjusting the value within screen time. I can adjust the value of how long it is between the last driver scrolling past on the ticker and the first one showing again. I can change our title. I can toggle manual cautions on or off. They will display within the ticker automatically for a, uh, an official iRacing caution anyway. I can toggle on or off whether I want laps to show within the, uh, within the caution or not. If your session is both a timed and a lap based session, then you can toggle which you want to show. Uh, and then you've got different options, scroll, block scroll, swap, and top five, how the ticker displays itself. So let's bring you across to the overlay again. At the minute, we can see the data displayed on the ticker is the gap. We can see it just updating the whole time in real time. If I change it to our last time, then that's the previous lap times being displayed instead. Best time, so we've got the fastest lap times. Our logo, all in the Chevys here, and the no data option to hide that out of the way. If I bring back to gap again. I feel like maybe they're moving a bit quick for my liking at the minute, so let's change the screen time that I showed you to 10 seconds. The next time we get back to the start, we can see that now it's slowed right the way down is now half the speed change the let's speed that back up again to five again for a moment so again next time we get back to the start that will take effect i can change the title so let's call it um arl nascar title appears at the top and to toggle my caution on and then that option that we had for whether you want to display the laps to go when you're in caution as well and then so at the minute the display mode is on scroll I change it to block scroll then each section is going to come in one at a time if i change it to swap it's just going to be fading in and out in place uh, on the screen and if i change it to top five 
and it will just keep the top driver static on the screen there the whole time. Those are your display options that you've got for beta and the way that the component itself is going to behave um, with your options that you select here. We have also got the logos on the top right and top left hand corner of the ticker as well so we can replace those no problem. Hit F3 again, drop down to the overlay section, style overrides, click on the little three dots here and then that's going to open up our style overrides window. We can see that we've got different options for URLs that are already plugged in displaying the SDK Gaming logo and we've got here our NASCAR ticker top left logo and the NASCAR ticker top right logo. So within these brackets you can drop a direct link to an image in for your own logos. Easiest way to get those is just to drop your image into uh, a Discord channel on your own Discord server. Right click the image, copy and then you can paste that link straight into those brackets. Hit F5 to preview or apply to preview. Click OK come out of it and then when you look back at your overlay those logos have um, have updated. Okay, next up, let's take a look at the NASCAR tower. So I'll hide the ticker, bring up the tower instead. Let's give you a quick view of how that's going to look. Similar sort of options. I've got our logo again. I've got a title and a subtitle this time. Laps to go, and then the race data itself displaying. So again, I've got very similar options within the timing screen. So here's our tower again. Hover over anything once you click on the once you bring it into foreground. It will display the tooltip for each button for you and i've just got the same options yeah. last time best time car logo no data go or hide the component if we have got our display set to split then if the grid is more than 20 cars it's going to rotate the, the bottom half of the uh, of the tower and we can adjust how quickly with screen time option there that we want that to rotate Got our option for title here subtitle and a manual option for caution but again it will display automatically for official eye racing ones and again if it's a lap and time based session then you can adjust the priority on those so same deal let's give you back to the overlay for a second just show you how they display differently our data is on gap at the minute switch it across to last lap time s lap time our logos and then no data will just shrink that tower down a little bit bring it back to gap again uh, so I've got our title so let's put uh, ARL NASCAR again so let's change the title on the top left I've also got the subtitle option so let's call it season one and then I've got our manual caution button and again I can manually toggle that on and off as I want and if it was a lap and time based session I've got the option there if I had more cars in this example field and I could show you the display uh, between just showing top 20 or actually rotating uh, the bottom in on the screen. Again, same idea on the ticker. I can also replace the SDK gaming logo at the top there. We bring you back to our timing screen. Same place, style overrides. First option we can see is labeled as NASCAR tower logo. So exactly the same deal again. Put in your own direct link to an image within the brackets hit OK and then that logo will display within the NASCAR tower. Okay and then the last component for us to take a look at for the minute is going to be the driver details. We've actually got a few extra options that we can look at in a minute as well. So um, again same options we can show and hide. We have a, a header, a footer. We can either change those labels globally no matter what drivers selected or we can customize those per driver and I'll show you that in a minute. We can show or hide a photo if it's been assigned to a driver, show or hide a car logo, and show or hide the driver's age and uh, hometown, again, if that's been selected. So again, let's give you a little bit of an idea as to how that is going to look. So here's our driver details on the bottom. Um, again, if I hide that away, i bring it back up. Uh, header, again, these ones are going to display um, no matter which driver is selected. So again, perhaps we could use that as the... Uh, series name again so that just displays on the top in the footer uh, again let's put uh, season one just our, as our example so we're using it a bit like a title and a subtitle if the driver has a, a photo then again I can show and hide that our logo we can hide there or the um, Chevy logo 
and then again i've got the age and hometown option so for the driver photo and for the age and hometown that information can either be added by the driver using our driver information app and then it will just automatically display for any sdk gaming users who um who are in their session it will display um, but for you as the broadcaster or the user if you want to customize your own overrides then you go into championship at the top here private overrides click on the three little dots i've got an entry here already from when i was playing around before and a nice easy way is i'm in a session already i click on add drivers select all the drivers there click ok and then they will just populate in place and then as i scroll across to the right here we can see that i've got some of these options the hometown the date of birth the header driver information is uh, the one that we labeled as footer a minute ago and then a url that we can use for our driver image so um hometown is nice and straightforward when you click on date of birth double click to bring up the actual calendar and you can navigate with the little header here between years and dates and uh, months and days to select the date of choice uh, again here's the entries i've got for the rest of the information the header and the footer and then a url that we can use for the driver so since that's already pre-entered let me pop across to that driver instead show you on the display and then that's how all that extra information is going to appear and again as we said we can hide the photo if we want bring it back up and we can hide or show their age and hometown as well so those details can all be customized say individually either by the drive using the drive information app or by you using that driver overrides option if you don't have any of those if you haven't entered the overrides or if the driver himself hasn't entered any information into the information app then yeah you've just got the where i've got arl nascar and season one the header and the footer options that you can customize you know, globally that across all users and remember of course you can still use our other components in conjunction with it so if i bring up the battle box and that's going to display just on the right hand side by default as normal same for any of the other components that you may be familiar with already so yeah hopefully that gives you a good start on what you're able to do with say our nascar components make sure you jump into our discord channel if you're looking to make other customizations and we can help you out with that whether it's colors or logos or other designs and uh, yeah hopefully you enjoy this update Thank you very much.